Well, microchip maker Intel is at the center of the latest high-tech race between the U.S. and China. CBS's Joe Ling Kent got exclusive access to Intel's state-of-the-art facility for tonight's in-depth report. All right. This is the new front line in the global chip wars. Here we go. Let's go. Intel is one of the biggest chip makers in the world. Inside this Oregon fabrication plant, yellow light protects the millions of chips or semiconductors that power nearly all of the tech that we use. Inside each one of those boxes, 25 silicon wafers. They travel around this factory, running about 200 miles over three to six months, going through thousands of steps before they are officially a semiconductor. CEO Pat Gelsinger says Intel is accelerating production to satisfy massive demand. Every aspect of human existence is depending more and more on what we do with semiconductors. It's a matter of national security, too. For example, if China were to ever invade Taiwan and block chips made on the island, the global financial impact could be more than $1 trillion. That puts Intel under tremendous pressure, especially after the Biden administration awarded the company $8.5 billion from the Chips Act to build more fabrication plants and upgrade others. Why should a taxpayer believe that this is actually going to happen. If you show up in Ohio today, you know, we have thousands of construction workers today at that site. You know, these aren't empty promises. They're saying, do we want these factories built in the United States or do you want them built in Asia? Currently, less than 10% of semiconductors are made in the U.S. His goal, double that by 2030. The COVID period was a bit of a wake-up call for the nation. Yeah. All of a sudden, our car factories were stopped because we didn't have a $1 chip. How'd that happen? And we found out all of those chips were being built in Asia, and we had no particular influence on those supply chains. Intel has just announced a new weapon, this high NA lithography machine, the most advanced ever made. It uses a laser that heats material 40 times hotter than the sun to create the next generation of semiconductors. How is this massive new machine that you're installing going to make a material difference. We expect that uh, by the end of the decade, we'll be crossing a trillion transistors into a single package. A long-term bet for the company and the country. Jolene Kent, CBS News, Hillsboro, Oregon.